play All Falls Down by Alan Walker. We're in standard tuning. We've got a capo on our first fret here. In this tutorial, we're going to learn the chords. We have an F, a C, an A minor, and a G. And then we're going to learn this strumming pattern. And then we're going to talk about how to strum through the chorus. All right, so we're going to start out here with our index finger on the first fret of the B string, middle finger on the second fret of the G string, ring finger on the third fret of the D string. And that's going to be our F chord. And we're going to pick our D string twice, and then we're going to pick our G and our B strings with our index and our middle finger. Next we're going to go to a G chord, and we're going to play this G chord a little bit differently. We're going to have our ring finger on the third fret of the B string, middle finger is going to be on the third fret of the low E. And we're going to play the low E string twice, and then we're going to play those same two strings with our index finger and our middle finger, the G and the B strings. So the first part sounds like this. Next we go to a C chord, so your index is on the first fret of the B string again, middle finger is now on the second fret of the D string, ring finger is on the third fret of the A string, and we're going to pluck A, A, and then the G and the B. And finally you're going to tuck that ring finger into the uh, second fret of the G string right under your middle finger, and you're going to play A, A, and the G and the B again. So it's as simple as that. Starts out with the F to the G to our C to our A minor. And this is how the whole verse is played. And that's the verse. So for the chorus, it starts out, it's the same progression, but you're just going to strum on your F chord. So this is your F chord. You're going to strum once, you're going to go to your G chord, and now your chord, you have your ring finger on your third fret, your high E, middle finger on the third fret of the low E, index on the second fret of the A string. So you're just strumming F, G, C, A. And then it starts strumming to a G. And then you can go right back to your F, G, C, A minor. And that's how the chorus goes. So it's the same exact progression. You can just strum, add in where necessary. Other than that, the verse is the same thing. It jumps right back into the verse. It's as simple as that. So that's the verse and the chorus that will get you through the entire song. That's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.